All right. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Gandam Sessions Live. I'm Andy Morales. And tonight is a special night because this is a open mic live. So basically, you guys come in, read your pieces, and we all get to know each other. So basically, to join, when you go into, the, when you pop into the live, just press the request button and you will be on the queue. And then when I click your name to join the queue, just keep in mind there will be a 10 second delay. And then you guys are able to pop in. So I'll be reminding you guys throughout the night. So uh, my first guest is right here. He's popping in. And he goes by the name of Yibni. So, all right, guys, Joe, let him in right now. All right, let me get the camera right. All right, how are you, all brother? Right, my, all right. I'm trying to get my camera right. No doubt, sounds good. Huh. How, how are you, man? I'm all right, but I'm, we're, I, I, I can't find, shit. I'm looking for my to switch my camera around. Oh, there it is. Oh, the 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 selfie. There it is. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm here. All I'm right. Here. I'm here. All right. All right. Well, sure. All right. So basically, um, like everybody knows, everybody that's joining in this is an open mic live. Um, uh, this will be on our podcast after this whole thing is done. We'll have the replay and everything. But um, basically, you pop in, you request, I, I let you in, and then you just share a piece or two. So give me, give me your first. So let me have it, brother. All right, this one is called the uh, Road Muse. <laughs> It sure is a weird light for eight o'clock at night, stretching clean across the horizon where poets write of truth and things that ain't polite. Now, trouble and pain are easily translated, dictate mood and temperament. Who is great or who is feeling the most regret? Don't worry, pal. Because on a freight train in a boxcar, there's only now, not who or when or why or how. Just blind chance, deadheading west. And it's just you there, sitting cross legged, smoking your cigarettes in Dean Moriarty's boxcar door. After all these chaotic years, it becomes quite clear that all hobos are innocent of original sin. Woo. All right, that's Road Muse. <laughs> wow, thank you, brother, so much. Um, so before I get the next person, so before I get the next person, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well. I was born in a town called uh, Canton, Ohio, where the Hall of Fame is, you know, football okay. hall, hall of Fame. Yeah. And then uh, when I graduated from high school in 1969, I just hit the road and I started riding freight trains and hitchhiking and driving uh, 18 wheelers for these guys to help them out when they were tired. And I traveled all over the country, did odd jobs and everything, you know, for like eight, nine years. And then I met my wife and we got married and I raised the family and we ended up getting a divorce and uh, I ended up doing it again. So right now I'm out in Colorado Springs and I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of shot down i'm waiting to have major spine surgery wow. you know in my lower back yeah so you know i'm just here right now reciting poetry reading playing the harp talking to you having a good time yeah Man, but that yeah that's me yeah right 
So that's about it. Yeah. Wow, sounds good. Sounds good. Brother, thank you so much for joining in, bro. And I'll talk to you in the comments, brother. God bless you, man. All right, I'd appreciate it, man. Take care. Uh, you too. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, let's see the next person, ladies and gentlemen. So, hold up. I got you, brother. Hold on. All right. All right. That was awesome. Oh, that was so fucking cool. I love that guy, man. That guy is awesome. If you don't know who he is, that is give me. Check him out. He has stuff on YouTube. And, no, oh, that's the realest. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you, brother. All right. I'm going to get the next person in. So you're going to have a 10-second delay. So be ready, guys. I keep sending a request in. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, yeah, so I actually, I don't know what I'm reading yet. One second. Yeah, hey, take your time. It's all good. We got two. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. So, um. So how are you? Like, how's this, how you been since this whole craziness happened? Um, I'm a teacher, actually. So um, I teach high school English. So figuring out the online teaching thing has been a little difficult. So um, it's a little crazy, but um, it's going okay just working from home. So I like that I can teach in sweatpants and they don't really know. So exactly. nice shirt up top, sweatpants in the bottom. No one knows. But um, yeah, it's it's a process. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I guess the first piece I'll read, I actually wrote last night at like 1am. Okay. So, um, okay. this is called, what did I call it? I don't remember. Um, oh, Arrhythmia. Arrhythmia. Okay. I haven't read this yet. It's super new. So we'll see. All right. Clouds broadcast me a glow through the half curtained windows and the steady metronome of a yard sale alarm clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Exhaustion trips a wire and my, my, and my trembling takes me back to my panics of tremors in a world I left behind. Tick tock, tick tock, the only arrhythmia in the night, my flustered entrances and my eventual flights from sleep, like an actress flustered with capricious stage directions. Tick tock, tick tock, my ceaseless ovation. When I escape out from behind the thick black curtain, the constant chanting of the clock chains me back to the now and the regular here and the inevitable always. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's a crazed calm waiting for forever. Wow. So, yeah, that was kind of rough because this is the first time I've read that out loud. Oh, but, but uh, that was, wow. What inspired that piece? Um, I was trying to fall asleep last night, actually, and I think I had like an eyelash in my eye and I could not wow. sleep. And I don't know, I, I always deal with insomnia anyway, like going in and out of sleep. And I have this old like alarm clock that i got from a yard sale and you know so that it's i i really like the ticking usually but it's just weird when you're awake at night and that's like the only thing you can hear yeah. so i don't know thinking about time and yeah so wow no that's a that's a, such a awesome very raw piece i like that a lot yeah, thank, thank you, you thank you thank you so much for sharing that with me um i mean you said first piece you had another piece you wanted to read or oh um I can, but I don't have to. I'm not sure how much time you have or if there are a lot of people. All right. No, no. Um, so basically, we're just doing an open mic, you know, get to know each other, just read yeah. some pieces, stuff like that. I mean, if you want to read another piece, that's fine, too. I mean, it's it's up to you. Um, if there's not a lot of time now, I'll just pop out so other people All right. I mean, if, yeah. if, we have, if we have time left, I mean, if you want, you want to pop back in later, that's fine, too. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for the opportunity. No problem, no problem. Thank you so much. God bless you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see who's next. All right. All right, so next person. All right. So again, guys, um, there's gonna be like a 10 second delay. Um, it's just um Instagram tends to be weird. So uh all right, let's do this. All right. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. You? Oh, I'm hanging in there. I'm trying, trying my best. You're One good. day at a time. You're good. That's all you can do, right? Yeah. Oh my God, this uh, <laughs> craziness that's going on right now is just insane. 
I know, I know. Well, I'm in my element, actually. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm a recluse, so this is good for me. Not what's wow. happening to everyone else, for sure, but for me. <laughs> it's... Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So um, just, just overall, everything's good with you? Every, like, overall? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, good. yeah it's, all good. it's midnight here. I'm in the UK, so it's a bit oh, late. Okay. Okay. I didn't want to miss so this, so... Right. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, Rock, Rock and Right uh, tagged me. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I tagged him and he was tagging people too. So I, I hope he pops yeah. in. Um, I just featured him on my on this page a couple of days ago. So I hope he That's comes right. in. I, I want to see him. Um, so let's see what happens. Yeah, hopefully. All right. Uh, um, oh, you okay? Okay. Um, um. All right. No. So I'm sorry. My wife was telling me something. Um, no. So, yeah, um, so tell me. Uh, all right. So start sharing the piece that you wanted to share. Yeah. 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 It's called um, "Floating in a Spacesuit." Okay. And here we go. Thanks. I visit myself in dreams, and in between lines of poetry. I think I saw her one time in a cup of coffee, then I drank myself to empty. She resides on periphery, but so do I. We collide occasionally and say I to me. Hell isn't what they say it is, you know. Her eyes agree. It isn't brimstone and fire sea. It isn't torture at the hands of sadistic fiend. It, before time to complete, she fades to mystified filigree. So I scribed a commentary, myself the addressee, left it hiding inside leaves of notebook and diary debris. Hell is floating in a spacesuit with infinite oxygen to breathe and only mind for company, abstracted from solace of sonority, no access to weaponry to end everlasting purgatory. It is 2001 space odyssey, eyes wide in terrified atrocity, homogenized underlying reality, asking God, why hast thou forsaken me on timeless repeat? Why hast thou forsaken me endlessly, never receiving remedy? It is unqualified cruelty as stars are deprived of beauty and silence deafens in almighty cacophony. It is abiding empty. But if you find you're lucky, insanity will provide pity, imploding pressurized psyche sent spiraling in smithereen slices of mercy. Yours confiding, peripherally, me. Then last night, as I dreamed, I watched her float detachedly, my face behind helmet visor sheen reflecting her horrified silent scream thank you wow, wow. <laughs> that is yeah, wow especially the part where you <laughs> said like, god, why, god why you forsaken me like it's funny because we all feel like that times too like i'm like god are you still here are you not here what's yeah. going on here? Um, wow that was such That's a what, what inspired that piece thank you very much thank you you're welcome. Um, what, what inspired that piece? Um, just conversations about, you know, what would happen. I oh, just movies when, you know, astronauts get detached from their space and you think, what right. the hell, you know, what on earth would you be thinking? You know, you just right. gotta right. wait, wait out. <laughs> so yeah, that's oh, really what it is. Cause I know there was a movie recently, I think with Sandra Bullock that she was like an astronaut so, and then she, I think she got lost yeah. in it or something like that. Sandra something Bullock, like that. I think last year. That. I don't know if I don't know if I've seen it or not. And I've seen The Martian, and I think something similar happens. Right. Um, that, but you know, like loads of movies, uh, two thousand one Space Odyssey, and and stuff right, like right, that. You right. know. No, but that was very such a powerful piece. And thank you, thank you for sharing that with okay. me. Ah, thanks for having me. <laughs> this is oh, great. You're welcome. You're welcome. I oh, hope so. I'll see you in the comments. God bless you, and thank you for popping yeah. in. And to you, thank you. Take All care. Right, you're welcome. All right. Bye bye. 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 All right. Wow, that was a powerful piece. All right, let's see. Bring some more people in. All right. So, so I'm doing this in the order that I'm get, I'm seeing it here. So, all right. So, guys, again, they're gonna have this 10 second delay thing. So, um, so far Instagram has been good. So, hopefully, Instagram is still. Uh, okay. What just happened? I just pressed. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see. So Instagram's been good. So hopefully there's nothing crazy going on. All right, hey, how are you, brother? God bless you. Okay, never, never breath, never breath. 
All right. So how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm okay. You? I'm hanging in there. I'm trying. Just this yeah. again. This quarantine thing is just ridiculous. Um, yeah, I've been here since uh, lost my job. So <laughs> I've just been here this oh. whole time. So. Well, I've known a lot, a lot of people all through this have lost jobs and all that sort of thing. One of my yeah. best friends, abundant, so because the company knew what was going to happen, and then the week before it all kicked off, he was made redundant. So, right, was, right. Uh, so yeah, I know a lot of people have lost jobs because of this. Luckily, I'm uh, I've gone back to college, so you know it's just catching up with uh, college work for me. So, right, right, right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll start with the uh, well. I'll just do one actually. This one's called Pylons. So I'll stop okay. this. Uh, transmission coming to you live from high voltage AC DC systems. High above the ground they stand. These steel futuristic giants supplying us all with electrical current, bringing to life all your appliances held together with wires. Three phase electrical power pylons. We thank you. That's it. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's bit wow. I like that. I like the whole ACDC thing that you put in there. That's awesome, man. Oh, I like to say a lot of my poetry is quite micro, so I don't really like to, you know, I can write, 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 but, you know, I, I find it a bit, for me personally, I like to just, someone described it once on a live as the knockout punch, so I try and aim for the knockout punch. So no, I definitely agree with you. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that, man. Thank you for sharing, bro. Thank you for popping in, and I'll um, see you in the comments. God bless you, brother. Yeah, hey, will do. See you later. All right. Yeah. Oh, that, I like that one. That was awesome. That was such an awesome piece. All right. So, uh, all right. This has been fun so far. Um, guys, thank you so much for popping in and just joining us. So, um. So as I'm gonna, you know, as we're going, I'm gonna be just reading some pieces and getting to know each other. Uh, wow, these pieces have been awesome. So guys, when I um add you in, there'll be a 10 second delay. Again, Instagram's been acting okay, no problems yet. So God willing, hopefully it still stays good. So all right, the next poet. All right, all right, guys. going up what's up oh man it's good to see you finally man good, good to see you all right you positioned here how's it going all right you know they were asking about you by the way in the comments and even um the last poet that was here before this guy um they were um from okay. uk she was asking about you she said you tagged her it is i'm like yeah, he'll, he'll come he's coming yeah yeah she's badass yeah oh man that thing with the space man that's crazy the astronaut like analogy, I love that. Yeah, she does those live fucking badass. Yeah, for real, man. So talk to me, how you doing, man? Uh doing good. Yeah, I just got home from work a little while ago, hanging in there. Yeah, for real, mm -hmm. man. It's raining here today. Kind of shitty, but it's not bad. <laughs> yeah. No, it was raining earlier while I was at, but it was like on and off, and then they say supposedly thunderstorm, but that there was no thunderstorm. It was like a big wind, a little bit of misty rain, and and that was it. So it was just like so ridiculous, honestly. This weather's just crazy. So uh, yeah. So um, so how you doing with the, as far as this quarantine thing, man? Like how how you holding up? I haven't missed a day of work. I've been going every day. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. No, I lost my job back in March, so I'm just making the best of it right now. So my wife sure. and my son, so it's whatever. At the end of the day, just making the best of it. Yeah, where are you at? Oh, I'm in um, I'm in New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, but I Jersey I, I work in New York. Yeah. I'm <laughs> heard that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, so yeah, man, so um, so I guess just share a piece with me, man. Yeah, I, I picked out uh twenty six. This is tw the name of twenty six. Okay. I'm tired, and it feels as if someone is pissed on my fire. This is the shit that consumes 26 letters and a million fucking words. And they lay places unread, unbelieved, or unnoticed. Truth has no place in this world anymore, clearly. Pour out your heart, reveal your scars, parade your inadequacies and demons, and this is what you get. 
Secrecy binds like a weighted chain. It's the substance of failed hope. I know what I feel, freedom. I love hard and I burn from it. But you know, that's me, the half-assed impulsive risk taker. Because I feel shit. I take chances. And I don't spend two safe seconds in regret over it. This is the package wrapped up in brown paper grocery bags. I'm definitely not the pick of the litter, but I am a choice. So ask yourself what you really want and be honest. Is it real that you want or just enhanced version of what you already have? Do you want static or clarity? Because you can only plead your love to someone only so many times. A person can only bleed for so long, die so many deaths, endure stone's thrown before covering for protection. If you want love, I've got it. I'll hold your feet to the fire and be gentle to your heart. I'll write about you and never will the sun set without you by my side. I will cover you in want and desire and adoration. 26 letters and a million fucking words. And all I have is just choose me. Believe. Wow. Wow. Dude. That, wow. That was a rough time. That's been a while back. Yeah. Oh, Wow. That well, I, I don't even know what to say because that was phenomenal, man. Um, can, can you read that line about the truth again? How the truth doesn't matter. Can you read that again? That that line. The truth. Oh, truth has no truth has no place in this world anymore. Clearly. Yeah. Wow. That right there is that's deep, because you know what I think we live in a civilization today that that's very relevant now that. No matter how much truth you tell, it just doesn't seem to matter anymore. You know, that that's very deep, man. Yeah, people hear what they want to hear. You know. Yeah. Wow, man. That was, yo, wow. Brother, thank you so much for popping in. Thank you for sharing that piece, brother. Thank you so I much. Pre- I appreciate the invite. Thanks for having me on. No, absolutely, man. Yo, we should definitely do this again sometime, bro. For you, real, you got man. Some, you got some major talent on. Big time. Got some awesome people on. Yeah, no, thank you, brother. Thank you, man. It's, it's, I, honestly, I, I can't do this without you guys, honestly, bro. So thank you guys for giving me a chance and just allowing us to just do this open mic thing, man. So thank you for popping in. Thank you, everybody, for popping in. So thank you so much, man. Most definitely. I appreciate it. All right. God bless you, brother. And take care. Right, you too, man. Here. Wow. The, yo. <laughs> wow. That is insane. All right. Let me start getting more people in all right so all right 10 second delay and then you guys come in instagram's been acting okay so far so let's let's keep it going hey how are you hey hi can you hear me i ask this every time because i I use bluetooth no i hear you perfectly fine (laughs) okay that's good that's cool how are you i'm doing well thank you my voice just cracked, and I'm trying to fix my lighting here. Um, oh, yeah. No, you sound fine to me. Okay. Cool. Hey, everybody in the comments. Um, I just changed my username. Yeah, I was going to say, were you um punk? Or to, um... <laughs> yeah, I was. Um, and now I'm Vixen writer. No, but I like that. That's a pretty cool name too, Vixen Writer. That's dope. It's, it's very unique. It's different. It's like Thank a writer, you. but with Vixen at the same time. I like that. It's awesome. Thanks. Um, turn this a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna read one of the um, actually the newest posts that I have up. Um, it's okay. and it's called "Full of Myself." Um, okay. Because it's true. No. Um. <laughs> um it's sort of this twist on this preconceived notion of being really comfortable and um, convinced that a person is in their own skin and really just having a great vibe with that. Say I'm selfish. When I bask inside my ego like a shellfish, there's no reason why I should say goodbye to me, since I'm full of myself, I'll be full of myself. That siren isn't stopping. 
that one in the mirrors got the sheer power of a succubus in disguise. No lie, that girl's got full lips. But what's fuller is that she's full of herself, getting fuller with herself because she'd become duller. Listening to how many glasses of wine you can drink and how deaf you've been, even though you can't get her to rethink how full of herself she is. Hey, miss, I say to myself, you are fuller and fairer than narcissists. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Wow. I, that, wow. I, I'm very lost for words right now. This is such a deep piece. Um, I, you know what? It's so relatable because I know I, I felt like that. Like, I'll look at myself too and wonder. But at the end of the day, I'm like, you know, I, I know who I am as a person. But it's like, I wanted to, am I full of myself? You know, I've, I've asked myself that question a lot. Um, for those who know me, they'll know, you know, I'm a... Uh, I'm a man that believes in Jesus Christ, stuff like that. But even I wonder, like, am I really who I say I am type of thing? I mean, that, that's just me. It's the way I took that. But that was such mm. a very, very deep piece. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so mm. much for sharing that. Thank you for popping in. And um, I guess well, we, we should definitely do this again soon, for sure. Thank you so much. Hey, I'd love it. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Wow, that was such a, wow. Wow, that was such an amazing, wow. Wow, guys, wow. That, <laughs> oh my God. All right, so, oh, okay, what happened? Okay, somebody, okay, I don't know what happened here. All right. So let's see. Um, somebody was on here, but then they dropped the request. Um, so I didn't even get to see what happened. All right. So if you guys want to pop in, um, feel free to pop in, request, join. Um, so right now I don't have any requests. So if you guys want to pop in, that's great. Um, I had somebody on here, but then the person just um canceled the oh, okay here we go all right hi hey how are you hey sorry i dropped out of the chat there a second ago <laughs> you know i'm like wait because like, i know i saw that thing and then once i went to go press somebody it just disappeared so i don't know what happened but okay no how are you i'm good thanks yeah how are you i'm hanging in there I'm hanging in there. I'm just yeah. uh, trying to get through this whole three months of just being home. Oh, uh, yeah, same. <laughs> God, it's just been a crazy, crazy time. But you know what? I'm making the best of it. So, you know, yeah. I'm home with my wife, with my son. Uh, he just turned one in February. So we're just uh, making the best of everything. Oh, wow. Oh, man. All right. So, Lord, okay. you're up yeah um this is one i i posted a while ago okay. um i was writing it down just so i could read it i nearly finished all right i'll just go ahead <laughs> um okay though i would gladly burn your books your photographs watch my graven images of you become smoke to drift upwards like a spirit exercised I would not burn your final image from my brain, but I have lived through nights so dark that if memories could be chopped up and burnt like wood, I would have taken an ax to your monuments and fed them to the fire limb by limb. Watching them turn white, become smoke like serpents shedding their skin. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm just curious, what um, inspired that piece? It was about um, when you don't want to remember someone so strongly and their memories are just kind of sticking around, you know? Yeah. Wow. No, no, I, I relate to you when it comes to that. I remember for a long, I mean, this is before I met my wife, but I remember especially um, certain people within like my my social circle whether it's like boyfriend or girlfriend or like they're just like friends and stuff 
um, there was a few people I had in my life that I was very, very close to. I shared everything with that long story short, that person betrayed me. And it wasn't just the fact that that person betrayed me. It was the fact that when I needed that person the most, that was the person that I would have never expected to betray me type of thing. And it was like, now I had no one, but then the memory of that person still in my head, or sometimes I'll pass by something or an area or, or I'll, come across something that reminded me of that person. And then the memories just start kind of like, um, I'm trying to think of the movie. Um, I, I think, I think kind of like uh, Iron Man. I don't know when, you know, when he wants to look at stuff and then the little um, yeah. hologram thing comes out. Like that's how, it, to me, that's how it comes, that's how it speaks to me sometimes. And it's like, I get angry when I think about that person, because even though I've forgiven this person, whatever, and we're not friends or anything anymore, but there's still things that for some reason trigger something yeah. and I get angry and yeah. I'll catch myself taking it out on my wife sometimes because it's not her fault. She doesn't know or whatever the case is, but what you said, that, that makes so much sense because again, like for a lot of us too, there's so many, like, like if I hear the person's name, depending on how it's, the name is used it might remind me of that person it's like yeah. do i hate you or do i hate the name like <laughs> it's, it's crazy like, like wow that that's sugar so, thank everywhere. You for that. thanks i have people. another um really short piece if you don't mind no no, no go ahead go ahead you can share it um this one is just about um adulthood i guess okay, okay. people are clever disguises for the impish ghosts of younger selves who hide in the skins of aging bodies like children stacked under an overcoat. Wow. Wow. I like that one. That's pretty deep. Thanks. <laughs> That's it for me. Anyway, thanks for right, having me. No, thank you. Thank you so much for um, popping in. Thank you for sharing those pieces. Yeah, with me. no deep. worries. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. Uh, Bless you. You too. I, wow. Oh, okay. Wow. That was wow. That was phenomenal. Wow. <laughs> Damn. You know what, Jason? You are so right. Jason called it. Every person that's been popping up so far has been um, phenomenal. I'm not saying no. Everyone's phenomenal, but you know what I mean. It's like wow. Um. So right now, I have nobody popping in. So if you guys just tuning in and you want to pop in for the live, oh, okay, someone's popping in. All right, so be uh, the lookout. Ten minute, ten second delay. Hey, how are you? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you perfectly fine right now. I feel you, okay, I feel you great. Fine. Great. I'm, I'm sorry about the dark lighting, but oh well. It's nice no, to I meet you. Totally fine. Okay. All right. Great. Um, thank you so much for having me on, and it's so nice to actually meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> um, I wanted to read. Uh, uh hi everybody. <laughs> I wanted hi. to read. Uh, a poem that I wrote um, quite a while ago. And um, quite a few people have read this poem. And um, I wanted to read it myself because um, it means a lot to me and a lot to how I feel about my ancestors. Huh? So um, it's not fun, but um, it's important, I think. So um, it's called The Demons. Okay. My fire is a raging inferno, simulating my passion. I'm bound one day to rid myself of this grief, but it hangs on like a bloodthirsty monster. It wants more of me. Red nectar dripping from demon fruit. I can taste the blood of my ancestors chained, one on top of the other, in a ship to nowhere. The fire, 
is speaking to me in syllables indescribable, chanting ancient prayers and melodies of freedom. I die a new death every day. Memories pressed into my mind by hot irons and coal. Let my people go. The chains ever still existing. Just as the angels have a job to do, so do the demons. They carry us away into the black, and I can remember as if I were there, the iron shackles and the imprisonment of our language until we no longer know how to speak to one another. They call us ignorant, but that is like calling a fish out of water ignorant, tossed on an unknown shore. The angels have a job to do, but so do the demons. They carry us away from the light of righteousness into the truth of the womb. I can feel the screaming and smell the stink of old urine as we lay chained one on top of the other, then another on top of another, and I can hear the wailing of the demons within. This history has turned me inside out until I no longer know where the angels reside, but I do know the demons. They take me away to those memories through the stories of the taken, and my heart breaks knowing the lust of the lost, hungering for freedom. I am tossed like that ship to and fro, charging my demons to do their work. Turn me into one of you so I can burn away the injustice, the sadness, the devastation. My shame has transformed itself into Beelzebub with the power to control this passion, this anger, and to live another day. I remember that passage with you, dark, scary, daunting, and I demonize everything you had to go through. For the angels have so much work to do, but then again, so do the demons. Wow. Wow. So much truth to that. So much truth. Mm. And you know what? So much respect for you writing that piece and sharing that right now on this. And if you, when you get the chance, you know, when you go back, you know, you see the replay, you see the comments. People are praising your, your, your piece right now. It's such, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. That is very, very powerful piece. Wow. Thank you so much, Andy. I really appreciate you letting me come on to read that. It's my first time actually reading it out loud. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for popping in. And, um, um, I, I said earlier, I will, I am trying to plan to do this at least once a month. So um, I'll have some announcements coming soon, but definitely when I do it again, I hope you do pop it again. All of you, I hope yeah. everybody pops it again, but they, thank you yeah. so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Have All a right. good evening and I'm going to stick you with you. All right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless. All right. Wow. Yo, that is wow. That is ridiculous holy wow you gotta give me a minute guys because that really just hit home holy mm. excuse my language but holy shit that was such a pop wow 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 so uh just give me a minute guys i'm sorry Woo. okay i had to really take that in man that, that was wow all right, so let me move on forward. So, guys, uh, thank you so much. Uh, if you want to pop in, just keep sending the request in, and um, I, I, I and you'll be on the queue. Uh, I have quite a few people on here, so um, bear with me. Uh, I, I have some repeated people here as well. So, if you went already, um, I don't mind you popping back in. But if there's nobody else, then fine. You guys can come in um, as long as there's nobody else waiting. Um, all right, so let me get the next person in. Okay, I don't know what happened. 
Okay, so I don't know what happened. Okay, what just happened? Okay, so don't know what just happened here. Because, okay, what just happened? Hey, Joe Steele, what's up? What's up? Um, I had a few people here, but I don't know what happened. What the hell happened here? Yeah, guys, if you want to pop in, um, feel free, more than, more than welcome to request to come in here. Um, right now, I don't have anyone here. Um, I do have one repeated person here, but is there anyone new here? Um, all right, so, okay, I had, because the thing is, I had somebody, I had three people here, and then they bounced. I don't know what happened. Uh, hold on. Let me see something. Let me see if she's oh, okay. I see somebody here. Give me a second. Hey. Hey, how are you? I don't know what happened. Everything like my list just disappeared all of a sudden. So I, I remember I saw your name. I said, let me see if you're still on here. So yeah, I, I keep popping in and out because my connection's horrible even after resets and Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, so before you go, somebody's asking me a question. How do I request? So basically, John, what you do is when you first come pop into the live, usually uh, there's like a pink thing that pops and send request. Um, you just press the button and it should and you'll be on the queue. Um, if let's say you pass all the comments, just scroll all the way up to the comments and there should be a pink button there that says request on there. Uh let me know uh if anyone else has any issues with it. Um, I'm trying to, because what I want to do too is once this is done, I want to write down all the people that actually went on here so um, I could, you know, so once I, I upload the audio onto the podcast, I could tag you guys and stuff like that. Hey, so, so, um, so, all right, so, all right, so, uh, I'm all yours, so talk to me. How are you? I'm doing. How are you? I'm hanging in there, hanging in there. Yeah, um, I'm, yeah, I'm out of work too. Um, we'll see what happens, but I have to homeschool my son, so. Oh, okay, okay. I'm working. <laughs> so you're it's working tough. from home, or? Uh, I like to be, but I just started a new position, and I went on a medical leave, and then all this happened, and I had no opportunity to go back for training because of my medical condition, so okay. Okay. I have to wait, yeah. So we'll see. Right. So and God willing, right? God willing. That's yeah. Can just, just wait, you know. Um, and honestly, I look at it like, you know what? Fine. Like, I, because I, there's there's certain things I'm waiting on as well. Uh, the other day, I just I'm just learning now. Like, you know, I gotta just make the best of my time, and when the time is right, something will present mm -hmm. itself. That's the way I see it these days. I feel happens. everything happens for a reason. Oh, based absolutely. on my life experiences everything happens for a reason oh, absolutely right. absolutely <laughs> yeah um so i guess i'll read i'm like stuttering because i'm super nervous no, it's okay. um <laughs> so i i wrote this about my current boyfriend i had a pretty turbulent life before i met him okay. um and i you know yeah I have some, I have a borderline personality disorder, which is not multiple personalities, but basically I have high emotions, okay. I'm empathic, I assume. So he's been very patient and loving and kind. So I just wanted to write something nice and sweet for him. So that's what it is. Um, uh, so it's called Love and Happenstance. Okay. So a fairy tales happen. Who cares of royalty? I take a prince I have. Neil Young was on and he knew all the songs. We couldn't keep our eyes off each other. I nearly fell to pieces when he wouldn't call. Then as, as the thought caused my mind, a bell rang off at the perfect time. He knew, he knew us. Sweet divine. He flooded me with words and moony eyes. He called me verbose and told me I was brilliant. I'm too modest, I can't take the compliment. He smothers me in kisses and I see a light ahead. We may be crazy at times, but we always share the same bed. A spoon against spoon, note after note. We drive until sunset and send the car. 
We talk for hours about space and look up afar. Memories and comfort is all I see in you. There's nothing better than a kiss from a soul that knows you. So that's the end there. Oh, it's a very beautiful piece. It's always good to have Thank that somebody you. with you, you know, that really understands you and is one to be with you, you know, thick and thin like that. Um, very, very beautiful piece. Thank you for sharing that with me. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate oh, you're it. Welcome. My honor. Thank you so much. Have a great night. All right. Uh, you too. God bless you. Thanks. All right. All right, guys. Uh, okay. So I see two repeated people if no one is here. So, okay. So I'll just add you back on. Oh, that's not a problem. Welcome back. <laughs> back already. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, it's just you and another person that already went, but like no one else is requesting. So I mean, yeah, if you guys want to come back in and share another piece, that's fine. I mean, because it's oh, not okay. right now. I don't really have a list. It's just you and then another. Um, Yib 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 is also requesting, oh, so okay. it's fine. I, I don't mind. It's whatever. It's just have fun with it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, I'll just get on with it then. I take up too much time. Um, this one's called Zarathustra's Jerky. Okay. Um. Yeah. Brandishing this dagger with sagacity, I cut out veracity's tongue with warrior resolve and surgeon proficiency. Dry it out in the sun, store in rationed modicum. This truth is too rich to gorge upon. Performing this custom from mountaintop residence, crisp clarity's dominance reigns, boundaries ordnance surveyed, barren city landscape and judgments of they, days upon days of pilgrimage away. And like Zarathustra, I will hear the call to come down from pinnacle to the masses, hoping to feed their asses, but this jerky is not coated molasses, too tough to go down esophaguses of circus spectators of tightrope status. Why waste lung gases? So I sip introspection from shot glasses, biting on biltong tongue hours after setting sun, watching apocalypse come over horizon, Watch forest fire blaze in distant dams in decimation. But this poison blurs vision, thick smoke and cloud layer conceal revelation. Flames never reach heights of self-proclaimed elevation. Confessional admission to constellations of failed attempts at reintegration, condemned to eminent isolation. And after long incarceration in skyscraping solitude, I conclude that in future I'll consume my truth barbecue. Wow. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I like that one. That's a very, very awesome piece. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. Wow. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, no problem. Not at all. Yeah, thank you. No, thank you for popping back in. Um, yeah, again, like right now, yeah, I just have you. no, I have another repeated person, but other than that, um, yeah, guys, if um, there's nobody else, uh, hold on. What's going on okay. here? Okay. No, no, my button's acting weird. No, yeah, guys. Um, let's say if I because right now no one else is requesting, but if anyone else wants to pop in just because they say they went already, but you want to go back in, that's fine. Um, that's not a problem. Just, just want to have fun with all this. So um again, thank you so much for sharing that piece. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, thank you. Take care. All right, you too. God bless you. Cheers. All right. All right, I have another person here. Um, okay, so I do have Yibni back here, but then I also have Robin here. So let me um, let Robin in first because she hasn't gone in yet. But I have five minutes left. So um, okay, so guys, here's the thing. So I have five minutes left and um, I'm gonna have one more person and then I'm gonna restart the live. And then you guys pop back in and uh, we can keep going with this for another hour. All right. So right now I have Robin. No, no, I, I'm you sure Robin, but I'm about to hit you up right now. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so everybody left. I don't know why. That's weird. Uh oh, okay, I see, I see. All right, so um I'm gonna let Robin in now because she hasn't um popped in yet. So by the way, Brian, you missed Yibney, man. But you know what? Um, when I come back, 
Robin, I mean, um, Ryan, when I come back, I'll, ha I'll make sure if you have any requests, I'll make sure he pops in again. That's fine. <laughs> but um, yeah, everybody's requesting you hit me again. Like, ever since <laughs> the, he did the, he was the first one with the harmonica, so it's cool, you know? So, uh, yeah. how are you, Robin? Good. How are you doing? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm, I'm hanging in there. You're doing a good first open mic. It's exciting. This is awesome. Yeah. No, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, I learned from the best. I learned from the, between you and Brian. I learned from and the Brian, best. And you know? Brian, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So your day's been good. Yeah, it's been all right. Nothing yeah. too crazy. It's just um, like I went out for a little bit to go. Sh oh, excuse me, to go off uh, food shopping, something I need for the house. But yeah. other than that, I've just been home the whole time. Yeah. 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 Well, I was just gonna. I was just going to read. I didn't know if you had anybody popping in, but, you know, I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter to me either way, so I can do anything. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like how Brian says I'm still a virgin at it. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Brian. <laughs> right. But yeah. But, no, um, I'll just – do you have five minutes before you pop off? Okay. So I was just going to read, I've only read this um, once before, but um, it's a little excerpt from the novel that I've been working on for quite a while. Oh. And um, it's just about a nightmare, a dream, uh, during some of the one a scene. So I was just going to read that, yeah. if that's cool. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. All right. So this is the dream. So this is part from my work in progress novel, I guess, right. <laughs> we'll call it. Let's do this, let's do this. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, um, I have nightmares. I don't speak of them, not aloud that is. Do you wanna hear one? It's one that I've had for as long as I can remember, really, it's a recurrent dream. Never changing, always the same. It's rooted within and I don't believe I'll ever be able to escape it. And if I do, I fear the result would be devastating. It's become such a part of me at this point. In the end, I think I'd be lost without it. I can never place the faces that are revealed to me within the stream. Many faces, so many faces that I just can't see. I'm on a boat, a ship to be more precise, an old ship, as though I'm traveling to an unexplored territory and I'm surrounded by, un by familiar beings, but feel so utterly alone. I'm frightened, but unsure as to why. And the journey seems exciting, but fear still burrows down into my chilled bones. A new world? I think, a new life, new experiences, who knows what the future holds, yet I am hesitant and cautious. In fact, I find myself sickened by the idea and confused as to why I suddenly feel this way as my tummy begins to churn. And quickly, as I feel my stomach readying itself, my subconscious takes me to another scene. I am surrounded by so many people. They are joyous and giddy, and the room seems surreal, and my belly continues to seethe, and I still can't make out their faces, so blurred and loud. Every one of them is loud and I want to scream at them to be silent. They are obnoxious, possibly intoxicated. I feel so small and insignificant. I feel invisible, as always, in the background, unnoticed, always disregarded, and so unimportant, a feeling that is familiar. Their gaiety annoys the shit out of me and I want to punch them all in the face and spew words of disgust at their wretched countenance. Ugly faces, faceless beings, you mean nothing to me, nothing. And so I do, I scream. And no one listens. No one hears. Not one single shudder or stare to give me any glimmer to my existence, and it infuriates me. It gets louder, their laughter, their banter, and now I have returned to the ship. The cackles and calls of the faceless entities intensifying just as the waves begin to rise and fall, a nauseous rhythm. The boat dipping and careening deep within the cadence of the swells and the voices screeching along with the wind in a melodic frenzy that sends goose pimples down my legs and I simply cannot escape it. My stomach tightening, my face feeling like fire and the bile working its way into my throat as chaos ensues. A man, at least I believe it to be a man because his hands are plump but large and roughened with calluses and grabs my ass. A woman clasps my face and all I can see is her flickering her tongue at me like the slithering snake that she imitates. Another grab and another to where I'm spinning and unable to dodge intruding hands, fingernails filled with dirt and then there's the smell. Even though it's a dream, I know the smell. It's the smell of nastiness, of sin. To watch them was like watching Beethoven's opus and then in a heightened moment of melody, I stop as they continue in their chaos of evil and I then become the conductor of my own symphony. 
My belly is now in need of purging its vile fluid and I no longer fight the torment within my gut. I expel the green matter and raise my head and finally they are hushed and I can feel them looking upon me. They stare and wonder from the steaming pile at my feet, nefarious and grotesque, a perfect representation of their souls. And I wipe the remaining acidity from the corners of my mouth and find that I now grasp firmly in my right hand a razor, sharpened for such an occasion. And with a smile, I embrace this moment of beauty and revenge and orchestrate a futile desol desolation of filth. And in the end, I stand in all my glory, my ribbons of red splattered against my small petite form, and I beautifully collapse in victory. And it's my favorite dream. I know it's a nightmare, but it's still my favorite. Wow. Oh my God. I tell you, when, when you write your pieces and you read them, it's like I'm in the dream with you. Like, this is crazy. So, that just, yeah, a little bit. It's been working on it for a while. So, we'll see but when that it That was very, very descriptive of Thank you. That's. Because you know, so when you have dreams a lot, even though you remember your dreams, but to be very vividly descriptive like that, that's yeah. difficult to be like that with your dreams. And that was so like, oh my God, like I felt everything you said. That was a very powerful piece. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks for letting me come on and read. And now no, absolutely. A, there better be a whole bunch of other people up here ready to, to pop in on with you. So <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, if you, all right, Robin, thank you so all right. much. All the pleasure. All right. All right. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So, Hobbs, um, the second hour. Uh, oh, wait, my bad. <laughs> oh, you're gonna leave. <laughs> All, right. Uh, All right, guys. Welcome to the second hour of the Jandam Sessions Open Mic. Um, this this first hour has been insane, amazing, amazing. All of you guys are so awesome. Uh, thank you so much for popping in, guys. Uh, if you want to pop in and read some pieces, open mic. By all means, go ahead. Um, if I have no one on, but you, let's say you went already, you want to go again, as long as there's nobody on here, that's absolutely fine. But just keep in mind, um, I don't mind if there's like a repeated pop-up, but I want to make sure I get the people who hasn't popped up on first before I get the repeats on. But feel free to pop in, guys, all right? All right, who's next? All right. All right, so there's a 10 second delay and then it'll pop back in. Hey, how hey. are you, brother? Good, how are you? I'm hanging in there. I'm trying, man. Yeah, me too. It's a uh, crazy time we're living, I have to say. Definitely. <laughs> oh, man. How about yourself? How are you? Good. Yeah, still working. Uh, kind of got bit by a dog today working. Oh, wow. Okay. So, but not bad. All right. All right. Hey, one day at a time, right? Right. In doubt, in doubt. So, so this one's yeah. uh, called like a long walk to Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, it's a long walk home after a night of wondering, wandering, pondering, Losing sight of where you're going, thinking of everything that's all wrong. It's a long walk home. It's a long walk home when you've been lost in thought for so long. Everywhere you look, it all looks the same. Watching your feet step over step, it's a long walk home. It's a long walk home when you look at the moon. It follows, creeping around every block, smiling, haunting, flaunting, taunting, flirting. It's a long walk home. It's a long walk home. Every night it's all the same. Getting lost on the street, hoping with all hope that everything will change. It's a long walk home. And it's a long walk home, especially when you look up and realize, fuck, I haven't even left my sidewalk. I guess this night is a short walk home. Wow. Wow, dude, that was, that was a, such a deep piece, bro. Wow. Thank you. What um what inspired that piece? Um I wrote it a long time ago, but it basically encapsulated like that even though you you 
like since I live in my head, basically, um, a lot of stuff happens. It can happen really quickly, and you think a long time has passed, but it really hasn't. So this is basically, you know, you took a walk, you think all everything's happened, but it really hasn't. Wow. No, I, I relate to that because that I love to take I like to take walks. Um, let's say if I'm like let's say my wife is sleeping or whatever, and I have nothing to do if I can't sleep, I'll take a little I'll take a walk around the block. I I just love nature. I love going outside. But what you said, I relate to that because let's say I've been walking for five minutes, but it feels like I've been walking for hours. Right. Like and my mind is racing with things that whether I thought they happened or they didn't happen, I'm like, okay, but did it really happen that way? Right. Or things I wish I could have did to somebody type of thing. But the scenarios playing your head where it feels so real. I'm like, okay, did this really happen? Did I really have that rough hour when it was just really five minutes? Like that is uh wow, man. Like I feel like you you really spoke to me right now with that piece, man. Like Thank I you. go through that. Like, oh let's say at night, um, let's say I'm like I just can't sleep, but like I lay in my bed and then all these thoughts run to head and I'm thinking it's there for hours and it's only it's only been like two minutes. And I'm like, but it felt like it was such a long time. Oh yeah, dude, that was wow, man. Like that was such a like wow. Like I don't even know how to, like describe that, bro. That was such an awesome piece, man. Thank you for sharing that, man. Thank you. Oh, God bless you, brother. You too. All right, man. Bye bye. And that was poetry by Scott. Wow, that that was oh my god. That wow, that piece was crazy. All right, so I have so far I have two repeats right now, um, guys. Before um, I request everybody in, uh, just just overall, guys, if you want to jump in, read a piece, oh, more than welcome to do so. Um, let's say if you did read a piece already, but there's no one else on here, you're more than welcome to um, come in and you know come back in and read and stuff. So let me get Yibni on first because he's been waiting the longest. He was the very first guy here, so let me get him in. If you're just joining us, um, Yibni, he, he's the guy with the harmonica. So you have some more Yibni because everybody's requesting this guy. So let me, let me, okay. Because there's like a high demand for this guy right now. It's like Yibni in concert. <laughs> hey, welcome All back, right. man. How y'all doing? All right. I got to say, everybody's uh, requesting you. They're like high demand right now, man. We should have a Yibni in concert or something one day, man. Yeah. All right. That's okay. That's cool. I really appreciate being here, man. You got some good people. You're, you're cool and everything. And I just got an old one to read from 99. All right. It's kind of good. a, yeah, it's kind of like a, 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 I don't know, a lover's requite, you know, I don't know. But it's just uh, looking at looking at what's going on. And it's called the Pilgrim. Okay, here we go. Here we here we go. pilgrim whether or not you know it it is tough continually having to rob peter to pay paul making that daily pilgrimage up the troublesome path that runs from reality to truth wouldn't it be nice to make the journey without loathing it fear is not an option i'm bigger than fear i know too much to cower at his feet. I am a pilgrim in this place. And suffering is figured into the cost of freedom. Whether you know it or not, your eyes are of the deepest blue I ever seen. You are the flame that sets my weathered soul afire. I don't even know you anymore. 
though my darkness is overcome when I behold you. My, how the years have made us different. Tenderness has turned to leather, and the birds that once sang outside our window are now quiet. I have loved you in these days we've shared, even though I know tomorrow was never promised, even though I know I am a pilgrim. That's it. Wow. I'm a pilgrim. Yeah, thank that you. For, was such thank a you. For, piece. Thank you for letting me read again, brother. No, no doubt, man. God bless you, brother. Thank you for sharing that, man. That is such an awesome piece, man. Thank you, man. Well, thank God you. you. Thank man. you. And you have a good evening, you hear? You too. You too. God bless you, brother. Yeah, God bless you too. Take care. Bye-bye. Right, Bye-bye. Bye. This guy, yo. yo. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh... Okay, I have a new person here. So I have Hyro and then I have um, Poetry Diary. So after Hyro, then I have Poetry Diary. So let me get Hyro in here first because he hasn't popped in yet. So, and then Poetry um, Diaries is next. What's up? Oh, snap, brother. How are you, man? <laughs> good. Oh, good. It's good to see you. I finally got to see, it's finally good to see you, man. Um, hold yeah. on. getting all these pop ups now all of a sudden. Um, yo, um, yo, it's good, good to see you, man. Finally, you've been going live together, man. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all no, right, so how many, no, how many pieces so are you? Wait, hello? Yeah, give me one second. I need to go in the back. I'm, I'm in my, my wife's work, and she told me I need to go to the back. Okay. All right. Hey, Eve. God bless you. Um, no, because I'm look at the comments as you're on your way to the other room. Yo, Eve, you, you better pop in, Eve. You owe me a lot. You owe me at least this much, Eve, to to do one open mic. You owe me one. She owes me one. She made me wait an hour, and I think she's gonna go back live. And it's like, oh my god, I end up going live with somebody else. With Thanks, Cynthia. It was like a whole crazy thing. This was like a couple of weeks ago. So uh, anyway, um, Hyro, thank you so much for joining in, man. Uh, for those who don't know who you are, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm originally from Madrid, Spain. I was born and raised there. And then I came here to, uh, to the States, to Utah, when I was around 15 years old. And I've been writing poetry since I was nine years old. Uh, it's just been in my family. My mother is a poet. And and she got me into it. And my, you know, my first language is, is Spanish and my second language is English, but I, I write in both. Uh, I love I love writing in both. It's my, my thing and I love languages. So I try to write a poem uh, a week in a different language. And so, uh, so how many pieces do you want, uh, do you let us read? Um, well, technically um, it's like every person reads one piece, but let's say if because right now I don't have anyone in here, but let's say someone requests me and um, um, long story short, basically. So I just just hold, just keep it to one. But let's say there's nothing else going on. I'll let you guys know if there's no one else requesting. If you want to pop back in later on, the live's over. That's fine also. But I also want to keep in mind that, you know, I want everybody that hasn't gone on here. If let's say you pop in, but then somebody else pops in that hasn't gone on here yet, then obviously, you know, it's, you know, by, by first come first. So I'll pick the person that hasn't been here first. If that makes yeah. sense. I'm sorry I went jibber jabber. No, no, you're good. You're good. Don't but, worry. Um, uh, no worries. Okay. Um, um, so you have I'll... a request, a new piece in a different language. That's cool. Yeah, no. Um, for those who don't know, yeah, he writes the thing called surreal, some surreal poetry, right? That's that's your that's yeah. your style. Yeah, that's my style. Yeah, surrealism. Okay, so I'm actually going to read one uh, that it's on the verge of surrealism, but it's more confessional. Okay. Uh, I've been I've been trying to like I was telling you before I've been trying to write with more honesty instead of building the image I want to portray my feeling with honesty so 
All right, so here's here's this poem. I didn't title, I don't, I have a hard time title, titling my poems. Huh? So this one says, I shook the hand of our mythical night. We cursed, drunk, and heavy to pass over the hours. In malice, the interpretation of your soft, enduring kiss blinded my confession. I had told you all that I was and much more. The trembling mouth of mine form could not object. I shook the hand of our betraying night and saw your cracked flower swimming sweetly against the tide of time. We restored ourselves with years in an hour. You placed your body in a sacrificial altar so as to not face my becoming. I could not whisper my enveloped caresses to make you feel existence. I shook and your words bled with the dew of an agonizing moon. Agony, agony. I was not ready to face the divinity of your faults. And thus I went home, leaving you alone with your flaming swords, following the boiling seasons of a love's forgotten yesterday. Wow. Damn, bro. I tell you, you have such a way with words, man. Like, I, <laughs> you know. So you have a request. They say, um, Eve says, this is evening poetry, I want to hear minimum three, all different languages. <laughs> There's actually a request right now, so I don't know if you want to read another one in a different language. Uh, I don't have, this is, let me see, let me, let me get on my, I don't have internet on here. Um, but I can, I can try, let's see. I can do only, I only have in Spanish. That, that's fine. Hey, that's fine. You want to read the Spanish real quick? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll read a Spanish one. It's, it's going to be really short. So it's a, it's a really short poem. All right. Go for it, man. Yeah. La luna canta y deja de cantar. La luna canta con ojos de brillantes botellas y de noches desnudas. La luna canta y deja de cantar. Pero ya me quita la ropa y me dice, en tu desnudez has nacido. Una vez más y dos veces menos, en tu desnudez has nacido. Diablo, holy. Me cago en diablo. <laughs> Yo, that was wow. I understood what you said. I saw the damn like um <laughs> wow man like, that's that is damn that's like Spanish to a whole other level, man. Jesus see I told you I write better I write better in Spanish. My poems my poems are very more like I have that that flavor and that Spanish <laughs> so, flavor. You know man. what it is? And I said it to my sister like a long like for, you know, like when we had a conversation. Some things sound so much better in a different language, especially Spanish. Like, I don't know what it is, but Spanish. You can tell someone I love you in, like, 12 different ways, and it's, it sounds sexier than the other. Like, that's that's how it <laughs> – like, in English, you can't really do that. Like, you know? But, yeah. that, yo, that was – thank you for sharing that, bro. Thank you, man. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. There, man. Uh, like Brian thank said, I'll see you in the me. comments. <laughs> All right, brother. God bless you, man. God bless you, too, man. Bye. Bye. All right. Yeah, Mage Soul. Yeah, I felt, oh my God. Yo, because my dad, when he was alive, he wrote a lot of poetry. So he's the reason I felt my poetry. And long story short, when um, he passed away five months later, I just started getting inspiration again. But yo, oh man. <laughs> yo, if you don't know who that is, that's poetry by Hyro. Um, this guy writes such amazing pieces definitely give him a follow that guy oh my god that was that was deep all right so the poetry diaries uh she was already here so i'm gonna put her back in because she's the only one that's requests so far so let's see 10 second delay welcome Hi. back <laughs> thanks thanks for having me back no problem no problem okay so i just wanted to read something i posted recently um, okay it really, I think it really flows better when you read it out loud than when okay. you just read it on the page. Um, right, this right, one's right. about like, do you know, like when you break up with someone and you have all this like rage 
<laughs> you know, there's all yes. these horrible things that you kind of want to say to them, but you shouldn't yes. because it's terrible. You know what? I wish I would have done that when I broke up with my second girlfriend. <laughs> Story short, I yeah. can say when we broke up, I did not take it to, even though I was when I broke up with her and I was trying to get back with her, but oh my God, I went in such a freaking psycho mode like because you know when you're in love you don't know you know especially when this is your yeah. like, real true love because my, first girlfriend wasn't my first true love, even though like i had feelings for her but i wasn't in love with her i was in love with my second yeah. girlfriend and it was such a thing and like i went through her mom like oh my god like oh, and no. this rage this yeah. funny, the rage we don't know how to control our emotions and then like once we're coming and we think back like that maybe i shouldn't have sat down maybe i should never did that and it's so funny, mm -hmm. I have not seen or heard anything about her since that time. That's 2013. Oh, wow. And I said some things that were like, oh, I hope she's not dead. I hope she's I hope she's doing okay type of thing. Because <laughs> I would never forgive myself yeah. if I said all that. Then I find out she's yeah. dead. And I'm like, oh, crap. I should never say I hope she's died type of thing. I, oh. Like, you know, it's great when you say yeah. that. You know, I wish yeah. I would have just looked at the paper and left it there. Yeah, it kind of helps you just get it out of your system. Because you don't actually, you don't, it's not how you feel. It's just like temporary insanity, you know? <laughs> yes. Yes. So, um, this is called Things I'd Never Say Out Loud. Okay. Okay. You're an infection, a queen of tiptoe deflection, a sieve that leaks from every pore, a bore full of open sores, a gallery striped with wounds that won't heal, because flagellation gives you something to feel at last, ice blast. You're a thing of the past, because you live there. Every day I tuck you further in there, fucked you out with the bins outside where I buried the dreams you euthanized. I carry inside me your lukewarm memory and reams, stuck fast like ballast in bursting seams, stomach lined with swallowed screams. Here's a message in a bottle to the other fish in the sea. Here comes the man in no one's dreams. Holy shit, wow. That last line, here's a message in the bottle. Can you read that one more time, that last line with the message in the bottle? Here's a message in a bottle to the other fish in the sea. Here comes the man of no one's dreams. Yo, how, wow. Wow. That, wow, that's exactly what it is. Wow, that, wow. Mm. Yeah, it's just that, like, here he comes. <laughs> Yo. Fuck. Uh, wow. Thank yeah, you I think so much for sharing that. That's I so relate to that because I know what wow. Yeah. Wow, and then I love how descriptive you were. Like when you're saying what you're saying, it's like holy crap. Thank, thank you so much for sharing oh, that with me. Thank you. You know, I actually I actually was not sure about posting that because I was like, oh God, this is terrible. This is really mean. I'm not mean. Oh, but you know what? You don't know <laughs> if maybe somebody else needed to see that. And yeah. it's like, wow, okay, I'm not the only person that feels that way. You know, yeah, like, like oh, it's, okay, it's a very authentic emotion. So yes. I wanted to put it somewhere. <laughs> anyway, yes. thanks for having me again. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. Goodbye. All right. Bye. Holy shit. What the fuck? Excuse my language. Oh, oh my God. Woo! I'm like burning right now. All right, let's see who's next. What just happened? Okay, so what the hell is going on here? All right, so Eve, if you are on here, I'm waiting for you. If not, it's all good. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm getting. Okay, so I have some repeated here. So let me get Jason back on here because he's requesting me. So. <laughs> if I say. Hold on, I'm just looking one turn. <laughs> No, holy shit, man. I'm back. Wow. Yo, that was you got, some, you got some solid shit going on here. Yo, I was like, what the fuck? Yo. <laughs> yeah. Everybody say bring her back. I, yeah, she wants to come think, back yeah. later. And I, I guess. Yeah, sure. Holy crap. Wow. Hold on. I gotta contain yeah, myself. 
Yeah, she started out like, uh, you know, and then she went fucking like way up there. On the <laughs> Yo, but it's like, it really is like that. It's like, she, it, like she could have said, oh, I hate you. It's not like she just, the, the way she described it, the metaphors that she used to describe what she, it was like, what the, yo, like my face right now, if I touch it, it's like warm right now. Yeah, she's going that. after this. Yeah, she's getting clawed, that one. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that was crazy. All right, brother. So you're here. I'm so a- um so wait, um poetry diaries. Uh so I keep hearing a request for you to come back. So if I have enough time and no one else is requesting, you could definitely come back, I guess. Um Yeah, definitely, definitely. I wanna hear that shit. That's awesome. Yo I'm gonna I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm gonna do this one real quick and I'll be gone. I mean, All right, I mean, yo, I, bro. I, I, I just yours. <laughs> All right. This one's uh, called Mary. Okay. I bought Jesus a drink one night. Actually, I bought two. One for him and the blonde he was with. He spoke in fables, and she wore a tight, short skirt, sipping her vodka without each saying a word. Mary was her name, I believe. Jesus in this, thing's from, in this thing from Mary's. She turned the shot back and parted ways. Bars are no place to talk of souls and the like, so I never brought it up. He was in no condition anyway. The blonde followed him around all night. They shot pool, danced, and loaded the jukebox with quarters. I sat in the dark, drinking alone, listening to his selections. Apparently, he's a Weezer fan. Who knew? By night's end, I closed out my tab and made my exodus to the parking lot, where our eyes met again. We shed her cigarette while the bored blonde climbed into the cab of his truck. He offered me a ride up north, just outside of Nazareth. I declined. I was headed south to my home along the coast. I felt compelled to hug him, and I did. His eyes were dark, his smile addictive, and that raspy laugh I'll never forget. He crushed out the cigarette and winked. I've got you, brother. Until next time, he said. He fired up that old diesel and grinding through its gears, disappearing into the West Virginia night. I lit another smoke and started toward Route 60, smiling at the idea that I'd been that close to greatness. I put out a, I put out a thumb, zipped up my coat, and hoped for warmer weather. That was the night. Well, you know the story now. Wow. Damn. I appreciate you having me on, brother. No, that's cool. I'm thank you for coming back on here, man. That wow. What inspired that piece? I'm just curious to know. Uh I think everybody has their own interpretation of Jesus, you know. Right. You got the one yes. that sits behind, you got the one, you got the picture that sits behind grandma's dinner table. And you got the you got the real one, you know, that lives. Yeah. And no, I feel you on that one, man. Yeah. But, but yeah. I appreciate oh, you having me, buddy. No, no doubt, man. Yo, thank you for jumping on, man. And like, I just want to say something you said. I was so true because everybody does have their version of Jesus. You know, like you said, it's the real one and it's the ones that people have behind like, the pictures and stuff like that. But um, it was like, wow, man. Because I, I, I've been a follower of Christ since like 2013. And like the way you described it, the way you just broke everything down in that piece, like I relate to that. Like I know what, because it's like, I really believe Jesus comes in different shapes and form as far as like when he really wants to talk to you, he really wants to get to you. He'll do he'll do whatever it takes and he'll use things that you would have never thought. Oh, yeah. You know, to, to to speak to you and to really get to your head, you know, like especially when he wants you to have a relationship with him. Like that that's that was such a powerful piece. Thank you for sharing that, man. No problem. I appreciate you having me. Yes, man. Thank you for coming back, man. Thank you, man. Oh, no problem. You stay safe. All right, you too. God bless you, brother. All right, bye. All right. Wow. Woo! All right. Wow. All right. So right now I just have Hyro. So I guess um I'm gonna have Hyro pop back back there. I have a tongue twister here. I'll have Hyro pop back in because he's the only one that's on right now. So yeah, he gave just right quite an interest, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. My bad. I'm just like Woo. Yeah, I'm man. I'm not expecting this open mic to be fire right now. Holy. Oh. 
Yeah, so you got fans, bro, especially E with the Spanish, man. Like, yeah. bro, holy, yeah, my shit, man. Like, that, that's, uh, yeah, I'm already talking Spanglish. Oh, my God. All right, so, yo, <laughs> lay it on us, bro. Come on. I know you got another piece right there somewhere, man. Yes, yes, I will. I want to I wanna hear your opinion on this one. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. I don't know, is it Spanish or is it just regular English? It, it's just regular English. All right, let's see. This one is called The Silent Sparrow. Okay. It's more of a surrealist one. I translated this one to English from Spanish. Okay. And I don't have the... Con so this one says... The silent sparrow clouds tremendously the serene river, the serene rivers hiding within your mouth, singing your dreams. Fathering figures challenge your existence with concepts of broken bottles and beaten nights. The sensuality of desire betters the versatile divinity of your body, embalmed with death and honeysuckle. A song of gestures drives your narrow tongue through ivory walls, the sparrow swims, wherein all is secretive. Weeping willows dive in tumultuous passion, trembling from elation as your fathoming mouth inadvertently omitted confesses. Yes, it confesses all its love. In all processions and perspectives of religion, to love and suffer nothing, when confession is indeed the passion of martyrdom, and you end the day with something to promise, naked apparition. Yes, you, swimming in my eyes, standing on my hair in a fevered night, to drown the waves of a singing memory, wickedly scribbling your body as you leap into the sovereign unknown. Wow. You know what I got out of that? Believe it or not, um... The Raven from Edgar Allan Poe. That's exactly the imagery I got that from that piece. Yeah, I was trying to go a little bit darker in a sense of like, because uh, this one is a little bit more like physical. Like I want to like give more of a physical right. sense of the poem. Right. Um, and so I wanted to, to give that surrealistic physicality, give it texture instead of instead of like letting you think what the image is, I want to, you know, give it texture to it. So, wow. Anyway, that was such an awesome piece, man. Thank you for sharing that, man. Wow. Thank you, bro. If you ever get the chance, um, is he here? Um, this all right? Because when I went, I had an interview with Kristen Provenzano, right? She was in. I interviewed her last week, and she kept talking about, um. Wait, is he? Um, Mage Soul Poetry. Um, no, Mage Soul. He has a publishing um, uh, company thing that he has a page on. When you get the chance, check him out. His name, I think, he goes by Carlos Mendina, but he's actually on here. He's Mage Soul Poetry. You guys should connect. I don't know why. I just felt like this thing. Like you guys should connect with each other. And I know it's like I'm looking at his comments, and he's like praising the shit out of you right now, bro. When you get really? the chance, once this live is over, look at the comments when you come on, bro. Like, people yeah. are going to do peace, bro. Like, Thank you. I, I know when you and I talk, I, I, I always have this feeling like you kind of think low of yourself a little bit. But, dude, you don't know how many people you probably affect just by reading your pieces. And let me tell you something. No. Read the comments, bro, when you get the chance, bro. Like, you, you're a lot. You, you're a lot more than what you give your credit, self-credit for, if that makes sense. But yeah, it does. Um, Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, bro. Keep on writing, man. Don't stop writing, man. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. God bless All you, right. brother. All right, man. Okay. Thank you for coming in, man. You too. God bless you. All right. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, I know. I know. You know what? It, I, I talked to him privately and stuff like that also. So, um, yeah, yeah like, like, I, I feels like sometimes, um, he, I don't know, he feels like people don't care, people don't like it, but I tell him, dude, his pieces are awesome. Um, it's funny because I found him by accident, and then I was like, oh, let me try to check this out, and then I started seeing his pieces, and I don't know, it just caught my eye. So, let's see who else is on here. All right. All right. So 
let me bring I have Casey and then I have the poetry diaries again. So two and two. So let's um so far I don't have any new people, so just a little bit of repeats, and that's fine. I don't mind the repeating people, so that's fine, guys. Um six twenty-five sunny. Welcome. Me again. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because right now no one's no one's requesting. So it's just you <laughs> and um um the poetry diary so far has been requested. Yeah. Okay, hey. Oh, um, I don't mind the You're... repeats, it's fine. That's cool. It's my first open mic, so I've been nervous. I'm just trying to build up some experience and whatever. So thank you. This is no, no, absolutely, cool. absolutely. Thank you. Um, this one's called That Corner in Vondel Park, um okay. in Amsterdam. Um I would go with you to Vondel Park, sitting in the sun and tripping on truffles, laying back on humming grass, flattening it to the shape of humanity, in that corner that you told me about because the lady said to be close to nature, waiting for leaves to play adagio for strings. I would close eyes and find a tree, rubbing hands over umber bark like I'm feeling up God, mapping undulations of holy terrain, inhaling arcane sense of ancestry. Stroking stretch spans over roughness till hands become plum and numbful, till I can't tell palm skin from tree skin. I would lay ear against trunk to hear groans as it grows under my touch, running fingers over grooves like a blind man reading musical notation. Falling into smooth gaps, widening to velvet valleys from fingertip by view, peeling back bark, unfolding secrets sequestered in bitter noted syrup beckoning you to come with me and climb inside. We would immerse ourselves in green dappled amber mellow, filling our heads with lyrical liquor, coating tongues in sticky burnt sienna, pressing on ear, drum, beat of nature's heart thrums, arms stretching to flowering vines, clinging intertwining ivy, as together we make love to divinity. We would grow like this, remain claimed a living fossil, immortalized in tree flesh. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm like, hold on. I'm sorry. I gotta just. Yeah. Oh my god. All of. Oh my god. I I think I need to just retire poetry altogether. I I need to just retire right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, like Not rock and right said, mic drop. That's exactly what that was. <laughs> He's my biggest fan, I think. <laughs> wow. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for popping back in. Oh my yeah. God. Thank you, thank you oh so God. much. Yeah, yes. thanks a lot. Oh my God. No, again, thank you so much. Um, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. All right, God bless you. All right, cheers. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. All right. Let's see. All right. So I have two repeated people but i also have two new people so guys let me give the new people that haven't popped in yet and then if we have time i'll bring the older people back again meaning you know the people who already were on so bear with me so let me get joe joe steel on here quick <laughs> yo holy wow mr steel what's going How on brother not much how are you doing Neon? Oh my god, I'm like right I'm after like, I sent the request, uh, my kids came over here. Yeah, <laughs> they came over to get me to do something. So, oh, yeah, yo, this I was not expecting this live to get crazy the way it is. Holy shit. wow, Woo. how you I'm, doing? I'm good, man. I'm trying, I'm just uh. Taking it day by day, man. That's all it is to it, man. This whole quarantine thing, and I'm just making the best of it, man. Oh, so yeah, I can do it. Oh, my God. Oh, Whew. It just, you know what it is, too. I'm just like, wow. Like, everybody has been popping up on here, man. And now you're here. I'm like, oh, guys, it's going to get crazier right now. <laughs> Come on. When Joe still walks in the room, you have to silence your phones right now, bro. You have to hear him speak right now, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't build me up like that. I'm just another poet, man. Dude, like, nah, but dude, I'm serious, bro. Every time you read a piece and you put something up, or even when you do poets now, whatever it is, bro, dude, it's always it's always awesome, man. Like, I'm, I'm so Thank honored you. for you to be here right now, man. Thank you. Oh, so how you doing? 
I'm all right, man. I'm all right. I'm just, whew, my heart's racing right now because it's, it's going to get crazier right now, son. Like, nothing's going to get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, man. Just again, like when you walk, just walking in this room right now, bro. It's just, I said, goosebumps. I said, it's going to get crazy. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh shit! Thank you. I appreciate that. But I'm just like I said, I'm not appreciate you, man. Just oh wait, place. real quick. For those who don't know, Joe Steele does have a podcast, a 401 podcast. Check it out. It is awesome. Um, you see some of the poets anonymous. Um, whatever Wednesdays on there too. Um, when he reads people's poets, you know he doesn't just read it. He actually interprets it from his point of view, but he gives you the breakdown. Check it out. It's available on Spotify. Definitely check this guy out, guys, if you haven't already. If you haven't already, then that's shame on you guys. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> if you get a chance, check it out if you want to. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Problem, brother. So, so we do an open mic. So, uh, you want me to read something? Yeah, whatever you want, dude. I'm going to read, wanna... read something that's unpublished. Um, uh, the, po- the Poets Anonymous group, they've seen it. I let them take a peek at it. Um, huh? I'm pretty sure it's done. I might add to it. I'm not sure. So, all right. Let's see. Good. So, <clears throat> I've never read this one out loud either. So. Oh, not? oh, snap. So, you know it's going to be great. Oh, man. So, all right. When we're young, we believe what we perceive. And as we age, slowly our eyes take that place. At the same time, our minds are in a race, our mouths ejecting every possible question. The thirst for knowledge begins to blind our perceptions. Slowly, we're disconnecting. As I sit here in deep introspection, I realize I've always been aware of an underlying deception. Something amazing was bestowed upon me, not by divinity. It was a genetic facsimile passed down in my family, and it was wide awake inside of me. Uninspired and uninfected by attempts at indoctrination, I live my life questioning everything to the point I lose focus and concentration. But on occasion, I have an epiphany, so to speak. I realize that life can be bleak only because we spend it fearing its ending, searching for an answer we hold on to, this concept of heaven. But how do we get in? Is it a test or a lucky guess at a question we've never heard, or do we have to learn a specific lesson, or even worse, make a confession of sin? But what is sin? It's another man's standard, a subset of rules to life arbitrarily changing within the times we're facing. And here I stand often alone questioning every statement they're making because it's who I am. And no, I am not the incarnation of some new age Satan. I'm a homo sapien. In other words, I'm an alien being in search of life's meaning. I'm not interested in blind faith. I prefer to keep dreaming and allow my mind to keep free thinking without obstruction of intense preaching and red-faced, heavy breathing. Just leave me alone and let me be a human being. Wow. Oh, my God. I, I don't have a lighter, so I can go like this, like like a white stack coach he does with the lighter. No, no, let that, that's, that's their thing. That's cool, though. <laughs> wow. What inspired that piece, man? That was, wow, there's so much truth to that. That's why I'm like, holy shit, man. So many things um, inspired it. I mean, it's not just one thing, and you know, and I think that's a, like with all of my poetry, it's never, um, no matter how it sounds, it's never one thing that inspired that piece. Sometimes I'm not 100% sure, like, what the major inspiration. This one, it like, it, I kind of, like, I was just thinking about like all the different stuff that's thrown at us through um, media, different types of faith. People hate this faith because I'm this faith and that faith and, you know, people not understanding um, the true meaning of, in my opinion, like the way I look at it, of what faith, like in faith and like that. So it, and understanding that we're all different and it's okay to be different within that and, um, and, to, and to question everything. I, I'm the type of person I question everything, even my own beliefs, even the only things I believe in. Because if I didn't, you know, if I don't question that, then I'm not learning. And I need to, I need the constant knowledge. Like I keep need to constantly trying to up it and learn something new, think about something in a different way. So when I view it, when I view something, I want to view it through, okay, this is, this is how I view it, but how could I look at it differently to maybe kind of break it down a little more? Wow. So, and I do that with pretty much everything. So. Wow. 
Bro, that so much respect for you for that, bro. And um, I definitely agree with you on that. Um, like I said, I walk with the things of God. You know, I believe in Jesus, but like even I question little things. You know, like when some things are preached to me, I'm like, okay, but is it really like this or is it really like that? But because, like you said, if we don't question as much as possible, I feel like we're not learning. And I think it's okay to do that. It's okay to be different. It's okay mm-hmm. if, if if you know what I'm saying. Like, like I said, like there's some things. I'll be honest. Yeah, like I I I believe that the Bible's true, but at the same time, there's some things that I don't agree with, and I think that's okay, you know, because I want to understand why that is. Why do why is this believed, and why do I disagree with this? Is there a different way I can look at this particular verse or this particular scripture and think, okay, maybe this, if I saw it in a different perspective, maybe, you know, but I feel like we're not learning if we don't do that with anything. I, I think all, like, all religion is, religion's written and then interpreted by people and told to others. You know, right. it's by a small group and then fed to a large group. Where for me, I'd rather read something and then interpret it myself. Right, and right. Take what take out of it what I find, you know, to be whatever it is, and you know, interpret it in my own way. I don't, I don't like being told how to think. And right, no, I agree with you. So I, I try to. You. How can I learn a lesson from this, you know, whatever this verse or this passage or whatever it is? So, right, kind of how I try to view things. No, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. And I, it's like you said, I think it's because we we really learn constantly like that, and um, that's the way it should be, bro. And again, so much respect to you for that, bro. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, Absolutely, man. Thanks for the fun. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. When you get the chance, you see the comments, man. Everybody's just like excited right now. Like Joe Steele is here. Like Mage Soul is like, wow. Like everybody's loving your piece right now, bro. That um, I see Tay Lane wants you to read another piece. <laughs> another one? Yeah. They want you, wait, I have let me see. I have 12 minutes left. All right, let me see. So how can I see if somebody is requesting me here? Because I only see my list of viewers. I don't see the actual request. Um, I think you got to go, I forget how that works. Yeah, it's weird because like I'll see it and then I don't hit, see it. Can you hit your number? Like the number? Yeah, um, it just has 13, it says 15 people, but I don't see anyone like requesting here. It's usually like they say, once the person pops out, then I see the request. It's weird. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've never, uh, I don't, I've never hosted the open mic. I, when I do tandems, I know who's coming in. Right, 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 right. Yeah, like I know it was you, then it was Mel, then I had um the uh, poetry diary on there as well, but now I can't see that list anymore. It's just weird. Um, so yeah, so they have a request for you to read another piece, but then I also have like Mel that's also waiting, and I, I want to try to get her in. If I have enough time, would you like to come back in, man? Yeah, yeah. Like let Mel get in here. Let some other people get in, man. I right, no doubt. That's Sounds good, all, brother. That's this is all about. Yo. Yo, thank you so much, brother. All right, yep, no problem, bro. Thanks for letting me in. All right. Yeah, no doubt, right. man. Thank you, brother. All right, bye. All right. See, now I see it. This is, see, I'm saying now I see the list. Once he goes on, then I see the list. All right, so let me get Mel in because she hasn't been here yet. So, yeah, everybody likes poetry diaries. Right? Everybody's requesting, oh, man. Um, I have 10 minutes left, so I do have other people that's waiting as well. Hi, Mel. Hi, you. How's How, your first? How you? Well, how's your first open mic going? <laughs> it's good. It's uh, whoo, fire. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've actually repeated. Um, poets come back in throughout the mic, but oh my god, like that's good. It is cool. Oh my god. <laughs> good. My face is burning glad. right now because every poem that everyone reads is like holy shit, like. <laughs> Well, hopefully, hopefully, I I don't let you down. <laughs> oh, come on, we'll see. That. <laughs> um, I'm going to read because I haven't read it out loud yet. Um, Juliet's farewell letter. Okay. Um, it's a bit long, but I can go through it pretty quick. So. All right, go for it. <sighs> um, the front. Well, the first thing says, "I have lost everything, and I have lost nothing." And too often I wonder which one he was. I swallowed a pill to make me small enough to live within the valves of his breath, to become the one thing worthy of taking his life. 
We call it love, but truly know nothing of the word. A poisonous thing, a wretched thing, call me fatal. I am a sanctuary of seasons, a year learning the different tastes of mourning. Winter howled beneath a wailing moon, sorrowful hearts drown in the lake of dreams. Back flat to the balcony, I stretch my limbs, creating space for lamenting lovers to make their way home into me. Bones shatter, new territory found, left open to claim as frigid promises break pinkies on hollow declarations. I can feel the wickedness of hope as it begins to ruin me. My worship a bane upon those to whom I confess my sins, knees, bloody and worn, my descent into hell. A canopy of fire shelters me from the fall, the rush of the earth standing on the tips of its toes so that it may reach me before I decay as if I were a rose, for if it were any other name, it would still smell as death on my tongue tastes, his etymology annihilating the serenity of my sonnet stained lips a plague upon all traditions followed in the name of euphoric saints. There is an angry God declaring his vengeance on Aphrodite, branding my skin with tales of Delilah and Samson, Cleopatra and Mark Antony. A midsummer night and dreams escape me, elusive thieves taking flight on spears of opaque sound. Quintilis arrives behind my eyes, ever changing their hue, cerulean, honey, moss, an augmented earth snaps its jaws, a pickaxe cradled in its teeth, an echo of freedom bouncing off cataract spheres. Images of utopia are incinerated in its shadow, foolish girl. Cheek to marble, perspective changing, a voice begins to rise, a chant cresting this new horizon. Hail Caesar, hail Caesar, hail Caesar. Unconscionable vagaries of ardent infatuation dye the sky a shade of turmoil. Marble tattoos my back as I turn to face the houses ruled by stars and globes of rock. Ariel smiles down at me from 1.9 grains of faith, a satellite of sylphic limbs circling, circling, circling the Titan God, a father I have dreamed of calling my own. I time travel through blossoms of porcelain petals, their demise prophecy of soul, a greenhouse constructed within a minute of threes. Fate begins to spin me on a loom, visions of what could have been flee. I become an oracle of spring, an augury of love's schism, smiles dance and mockery as curtains are called and I can feel the crumbling masonry of my vulnerability. It was but a murderous wish a villainous plea into the night, and thus with a kiss, I. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to retire. That's it. <laughs> I'm done. I, I, how can I top that? No, like how can I write a piece? That I, how? I can't write another piece after that. That wow. Yes, I, you I'm can. <laughs> Holy. Yes, you can. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is burning right now. This is what I'm saying. This whole night has been all oh my <laughs> Wow. Awesome. Thank you. You have such a way with words and imagery and the way you just, oh my God. Like... <laughs> Thank you. I um I have a fondness for a metaphor, so <laughs> I love that. I love poetry like that. That just makes you think a lot. That's, I love that. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank, thank you everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you for thank you. Just pop it in. Though. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Sidi. I'll see uh, you later. You. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Whew! Yay! Yay! All right, so. I have four minutes left. 
and I feel bad um because there's three people here um two repeated person but I have her words poetry here so she hasn't gone in yet so I have um four more minutes left so after her I'm gonna end it right here but guys thank you so much for joining so just waiting on her to pop in All right, I'm waiting for her words dot poetry to pop in. Yeah, I know. I, I don't have enough time. I only have like three minutes left. Um. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm waiting for you to accept. It says waiting for you, her words dot poetry. Um, it's not letting me. That's weird. Um, it says uh, it says I'm waiting for you. Um, I, I pressed the accept button, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, try it again. Hold on. Yeah, I know, but I, I gotta give the new people who haven't popped in a chance. But okay, that was so weird. Hi. Hey. Thank you for having me on here. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, just letting you know, I only have two minutes left, okay. and then that's the end of the live. So, um, okay. yeah. So I, I hate to rush like that. That's I'm so okay. sorry, but that's okay. I'll do a short one. All right. No, thank you for popping in. Thank you so much for popping in. Thank you for having me. Sorry for being so late, but here we no, go. It's okay. Okay, it's really short. Okay. 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 I wish I would have never left the bottom of my bottle to grant you every wish. But since you left me rattled, I'm laying at the bottom. And what you called honesty is the reason why I want to master boundaries before I let anyone get me out of here. Wow. Short. <laughs> Thank wow. you. Wow, no, but that was good. I like that. What, what, what inspired you to write that? Uh, what inspired me? Um, like my ex-relationship. Okay. Um, you know, um, when you get out like of a toxic relationship, setting boundaries is like the first thing you want to master. So that's what I wrote about. Wow. No, yes. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. Thank you for popping in. I know it's last um minute. Um, just a real quest. One of the, cause people keep saying I'm going a third hour. I can't go a third. I mean, I would, but I really can't. Cause one, um, I, my wife has stopped my son to bed. And also, um, I have Robin Leoros goes live around this next time, this next hour on her live. And I, I try not to go over another person's live. I try not to do that. So, um, I'll update everyone. If I do another one, most likely it'll be another month. Um, next month I'll do another one of these, but if I feel like doing another one just because, um, it'll probably be on a different day. That's not Monday. Uh, so I'll, I'll keep everyone posted. Um, but, um, thank you so much for popping in. Thank you so much for sharing your piece. Thank you. Feel free to join the open mic on Saturday. Yes. 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 She has an open mic guys. Check her stuff to go on her page. It's her dot words poetry, right? Am I saying that right? Yeah. Her words dot poetry. Yes, yes, check her out. She has an open mic coming out as well. So, guys, thank you so much. I have 21 seconds left. God bless you guys. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. All right, bye bye. All right, guys, thank you for coming. Uh, God bless you. Uh, see you next week on just our regular lives. I believe it's me and Robin next week. So, um, anyway, God bless you. Peace.